I am Mark. I'm Beck. I'm Willow. I'm Marley. And we're from Wild Family Travel. Join us as we travel through Asia and Europe. One team. The one tween and toe. So the Batu Cave was built in 1891. It's one of the most popular Tamil shrines outside of India. So I love the colour of the steps. Um, pretty sure very soon I'm not going to love the steps at all. As I often say to the girls in Southeast Asia, let's go out and get our sweat on. So I've climbed about five lots of stairs so far. <laughs> Maybe around 90 odd, uh, apart from like a billy goat. Okay, made up the steps, didn't have a heart attack, didn't require CPR, didn't fall over, all things I'm proud of at this stage. <laughs> Badu Caves is one of the most affordable family options in Kuala Lumpur. There's no entry fee except the price it costs you to get there. But if you don't wear the appropriate clothes and you have your knees exposed, you'll have to hire a sarong for 5 RM per person. Okay, supposedly here we go again. Another section. Now we're officially at the top of the Batu Cave. Oh, I see plenty of monkey see, monkey do up there. Monkeys. Let's start our trek back down, then back up, then back down. Batu Caves are located on the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur. 
You can either catch public transport or you can take a grab. I suggest that if you're staying in Kuala Lumpur city centre, take a grab. It's cheaper. The grab to the Badu Caves will also be quicker than public transport. If you're ordering a grab home from the Badu Caves, make sure you go out the front because they won't come into the car park because it costs some money. Literally dripping off me. I think it was actually harder coming down than it was coming up. Uh, this heat is disgustingly sweaty, <laughs> but that's the Badu Caves. Done.